Hey everyone, so one of my friends wants to know how to do eyeliner because some people do struggle with making eyeliner, you know, it's really hard trying to make a good eyeliner up here. So I've been told I'm good at cat eye and um, I'm sorry that the lighting isn't the best here. Actually, I think it's too bright on my face because you all my acne. But, um, it's not like the perfect brightness, so I'm really sorry. I don't have good lighting in my room. And, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do my whole makeup routine with like how, what product I use to cover my face. So, let's get started. The first thing I do is, um, well, I have to take off my glasses, I guess, or not. Um, sometimes some parts of my skin are dry. And I put jojoba oil, like a little bit, tiny bit, on my face. In certain parts of my face I feel are dry. And I just use my hand. Um, for some reason it squirts a lot of thing out of the thing. So I just kind of take a little bit from inside the cap. And I just put it on my face. Sometimes my chin is a bit dry. I feel kind of weird doing this. Also, there might be awkward moments where I go super close to the camera to try to show you what I'm doing. And that's because I can't see what I'm doing because I have really bad eyesight. And so yeah, I kind of just do that thing with the oil on my face. And sometimes the side of my nose gets dry. Okay, so enough of that. Is it too shiny? Um, spread it. It goes a long way, so I just kind of do that. My skin is dryish, but some parts sometimes it gets oily. I don't know. I have mixed skin. So then, if there's any excess, I wipe it off my hands. Next, I what do I do? Oh, okay. So next is primer. Primer helps your makeup stay longer. Some people don't use primer, but I just use it. For makeup things I'm doing there for like nice things, like you know if you're going out on a date or your nice dinner or something. I use this one. And this is Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio and there's different types, different colors. So the one I use is the green hue one. It's blur and redness control. You just read a little strip there wherever you want. I don't know, is it reading it? I can't even see if it's reading it. Uh, okay, you can kind of read it. Um, yeah, this one visually blurs tone imperfections and smooths fine lines. I like it. It's really, really light. I like the Maybelline stuff for my face, like the skin thing, because it feels light. So yeah, that's the Master Prime by Face Studio Primer Base. And I don't use it all the time because it's kind of expensive. I mean, it's probably cheap compared to other brands, but it's expensive to me. So I just use, um, for everyday wear, if I'm going to like school or something, just normal stuff. I use Olay Fresh Effects. And it kind of works as a primer. And as you can see, maybe it has like a green, green stuff in it. That's like the blurness. It's Swirled Mattifier. Clear Skin, Redness and Pore Reducing Mattifier. So it serves almost the same purpose as the other primer. So like, I kind of copied this concept from Key, from Shiny. Making a little smiley face on my hand, although the smiley face does not cover up my whole face. But yeah, the smiley face. I thought it was cute when he did that, so. Anyway, I put that on my, my, my hand, and I kind of just spread it around. And I go like this, and I spread it on my face, like this, my hand. Some people use sponges, which I guess make your makeup last a little bit longer than what if you use your hand. But I don't know. I don't like using sponges. I used a sponge for when I went to banquet, but I don't know the difference. Okay, so once I finish with putting on my primer, I put on 
Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And that is also Maybelline, right? Yes, it's Maybelline Fit Me brand. And my color is Natural Ivory 112. It's for normal to oily skin. I just, but this is the matte poreless. I like the matte look better. So, so I pour some of the foundation on my hand like that because you don't need a lot of foundation. And I just kind of go like this. And I also put some of the foundation up here. I spread it. And I honestly think this stupid camera is not doing me justice. <sighs> so yeah, I spread it all over. And really, this type of... What I like about this is that this... Foundation... Looks exactly like my skin tone. So all it does is make me look like I don't have any flaws in my face. And I think you can kind of tell the difference. Because earlier it looked really red. And now I don't look that red. And sometimes if I feel like there's a really, really red spot, I put some of this concealer on the spot. This is Cover Stick Concealer Ivory Color. And it's a lighter color than my skin, so that way it's easier to blend and make it look less blemish. And I put a little dot like that, for example, and I just put more more foundation foundation. I always get the two mixed up. More foundation and I just go like that. Like that. Oops. Next. I usually sometimes wear blush. No, okay. Blush is not next. Next is the eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I used to use this Manga one. It was under the Manga line for L'Oreal and they still sell it. They But they sell the mascara, not the eyeliner. I found this in a CVS Montana. I found both the eyeliner and the mascara and I was so happy because they hadn't sold it in Florida yet. And it works really well. It works really well. It's called the Infallible Black Buster Liquid Eyeliner 8 Hour L'Oreal Paris. And I like it. I liked the thick end. It made it easy to um, make the cat eye and everything because the end is like, it was thinnish but not too thin. So, I don't know, I really liked this, but they don't sell this anywhere down here, apparently. So I'm sad. But, instead, I have this super fat eye marker from NYX. And I don't really, the tip kind of annoys me, because I think it's already breaking on me. For some reason, it's breaking. I don't know if you could tell, but the end is kind of, I think it's already running out of eyeliner. But anyway, so before I put liquid eyeliner, which is what I use, I recommend using liquid eyeliner for your top lid, and then um, pencil, you can also use liquid eyeliner, but use pencil eyeliner if you're going to outline the bottom or your inside of the eye. So I have from a nobody, I think it's e.l.f. Yeah, this is from e.l.f. It's a little booklet, horrible booklet with a bunch of eyeshadows. And they're more the natural color side, which I like using for my eyes. Sometimes I like using color, but I don't use color a lot, especially for a normal day. I'm just showing you my normal day routine. So, I take a Q-tip, and I go around like this with my eye. It makes the liquid eye, the liquid eyeliners, um, liquid eyeliner stay. I hope I'm not getting this over my keyboard. Okay, so that's what I do with my eye. And can this become brighter again? Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to use my mirror here because I can't see. So. Okay, I usually use a light color for my lid as the base. And sometimes if you want to make you know, your eyebrows do the bangs. Your eyebrows pop out more, make everything more defined. You could put a little bit of light color there and spread it out. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. And if I feel like defining the crease a little, I just use a slightly darker color. So I'm going to just choose a color. 
and I start from the end of my eye and I go like this like that like that and I do it again to me I'm just kind of digging into the crease so that's what I do for my eye I don't think I like that color that much for my crease. I probably would have used that as a second base. Like I kind of layer it sometimes, but whatever. So that's my eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow helps your eyeliner stick more. So here's the important part for my friend who wants help with eyeliner. So I feel really weird trying to do this in camera. You start from the inside. And you kind of make a line. Oh my god, this is coming out horrible. Okay. I feel weird trying to do it from camera. You go on the inside. You make a thingy. Okay, I need a mirror. What you do, you go from the inside of your eye, like the edge there. You angle your pen, and you just go along up like that, and trace. And if you're making a cat eye, just put wherever you want your cat eye to be. If you want it really pointed, start up here and make a line. If you want it more straight, just go straight. Okay, you're going to connect a line from here, the outside, to the inside. So, I'm going to do my thing here and just retrace here. I'll make a really pointed one. Okay, so see I connected a line from outside to the to like how high I wanted it pointed. And I connected it to the inside line that I made. Okay? So all I did was go here and I connected it like that. Okay? I hope you get that. And it's darkening again. Stop darkening. I hate this camera. So then I connect from this end to the bottom of my eye, the tip of my eye here. Okay, see? Like that. From here to here. And then all you do is you fill in the rest of your eye. And this marker is dying. Okay, you fill it in. I don't know why this is hard doing it on camera. There are so many better mu makeup videos than me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it that well. I can't see it that well because I'm blind. I'll put my glasses on to see how it came out. And you can't see how it came out, but I can. So, okay. This is a really sharp winged cat eye. And that's how you do it. You just make your line inside first. Stop up here. However thick you want your eyes. And then you connect from up here to here, the top of the wing. And then from the top of the, the tip of the top wing down to your eye. Line your eye. There's just a straight line. What you do is, I just do the, I have a thick end marker. So... It's kind of different for me. What I do is, oh my god, I hate the brightness here. What I do is I just place the marker at the edge of my eye like this. I just go over and move down like that, if that makes sense for a normal eye. Okay, I'm just going to do it, okay? Just, just so you see what, I'm, what I mean. Okay, and sometimes you have to go back and keep going over and over and over. I honestly need a new eyeliner pencil. And sometimes I go, like, I angle it like this to help it a little. Like, and that is for a simple eye eyeliner. Your simple line. I'm going to add a straight cat eye to it, like more vintage look. What you do is you, I start from the bottom line 
I just go straight and I add the top line. So, and the thing is that the bottom line kind of touches your bottom eyelid. I don't know how I can show that. The bottom eyelid down here kind of touch, touches the edge. And then I connect, and then I do the top one by starting at the tip of the bottom one and connecting to the top of the line I made. And that's a more vintage eye, or maybe Egyptian, I have no clue, like an ancient Egyptian type of look, but it's also vintage-ish. So that's more of a straight wing eye. And I'm sorry if it sucks, but it's because the stupid marker is running out of ink, I think. I just don't like this pen. So that is my normal look. And I usually just stop here with the eyeliner and my skin. Sometimes I'll add blush. I use Fit Me Maybelline. And the color is Deep Wine. I like more of the normal skin tone colors. I don't use bright colors. Or brown. Because I think brown looks weird on me. So I just go like that. And I think I messed up a little. I added a little bit too much. But I start from the cheekbone and I go up. And I kind of I go like this, that's what I'm doing, to shake off some of the dust. And I go like that. So, yeah. Sometimes I add a little here, a little here. Okay. Well, I guess I'll still continue with the eyes. If I wear mascara, which I hardly do because people tell me I have long eyelashes. And it looks like I'm wearing mascara. But... I like this one, Lash Sensational by Ma Maybelline. Yes, Maybelline. I like Maybelline. So, this is the one I use. I just put it on. I'm not going to put it on right now because I hate putting it on, but I feel like it makes the best lash. Or I could put it on. Whatever, I'll put it on. So, I start from the bottom inside and I go up. You can't really see a difference. And sometimes I go like this. I think I'll talk about the lips. Um, sometimes I just leave it like this. Or if I want to go for a glossy look. Give me a second. If my lips are dry, I just use lip normal, like any lip gloss thing. And I bought this. It's a little Tsum Tsum. I go like that. But if I want a kind of like skin tone look, I don't know, I like that. I like it when lips are lighter than the face. But I do like my lip color, my natural lip color, but I add a lighter color to my lips. Like that. If I want extra shine and stuff. How does that look? I could put my glasses on now, right? It gives it more like lighter look um so yeah this is color whispers probably by maybelline yes it's by maybelline maybelline it's number 10 bear to be bold that's what it's called so it's like a bear color bear like naked bear um oh i've been told or complimented a lot on this color it's 390 sweetheart blush by CoverGirl, CoverGirl, Sweetheart Blush, three, 390, and I use it as lipstick. It's pink, and I've been told people like this color. I would do my eyebrows, but hmm. I like dark eyebrows. In high school, I did really dark eyebrows, and people would be like, Genesis, why do you have this? But I like my dark eyebrows. Like, my art teacher um, mentioned how she... Oh, wait. Okay, but yeah, she in, she's like, do you like your eyebrows that dark? I'm like, yes. I forgot to mention, there's a part on the inside of your eye that some people put eyeliner on, like 
on this part. I don't usually do it, but when I do do it, I like using purple. Or you could use white. White makes your eyes look bigger. I mean, it looks like it gives it more space. So I kind of just, this is, I find that this sticks to my, uh, the inside of my eyelid better. It's wet and wild color, color recon. I don't know, it's purple, and it was cheap. I guess a purple tint to my eye. I like it. So that's why I add them inside my eye sometimes. Or I just add it directly underneath the eye like that, and I go over and over and over. I usually do thick under eye if I want, but I don't really like that look anymore. Um, so yeah, my eyebrows, I like dark eyebrows, do I not? I didn't take out my eyebrow stuff because I'm done. Sometimes what I do is I just use eyeshadow, so I could just open this box up or I can't open it up. Okay. My eyebrows are kind of darker than my hair, so I like emphasizing that part of me. And I don't care what anyone else thinks about it. Okay, so is this black? This smoky. Smoke Majesty. Do I have black in here? Mink blackout. Okay. So, is this brown? Mm. Okay, I use I use a brown, and I fill in my eyebrow a little with the brown. Or or um no, hold on. I haven't done my eyebrows in a long time. I take the black and I put black and I lightly put it on, which I can't do with this camera. Like camera thing but you just fill in the spots that are like gaps and please excuse my hair it's all over your place right now okay I filled it in I used to do better at eyebrows but then there was this day that I decided to pluck too much in and then it ruined everything anyway so then I I get a Q-tip, here's my Q-tip, and I just get a brownish eyeshadow, and I apply it over to like lighten it up a little, and I just kind of takes multiple Q-tips. I do it until I feel like I like my eyebrow. And I kind of like it when the eyebrow at the end here fades into my face. And it looks really dark on camera, but I promise you, this is not that dark. Lighten up, lighten up. And I try to pick up any excess black with my Q-tip. And again, this is making my eye my makeup look darker than it actually is. Um, my eyebrow kind of arches weird there, so I just kind of fix it. I take my Q-tip, and that's what I basically use to shape it. I kind of just smudge things out and stuff. So, that is my eyebrow. That's how I do my eyebrow. And I don't think there's really much more I can say because I don't do a lot with my makeup. And now it's my bird singing like crazy. But I think that's it because basically it was just about the eyeliner. I'm just gonna end it right there. I'm sorry if this video is really sloppy. I tried. I'm not good like those other makeup video people who solely do makeup and have good cameras and everything. But I hope at least the eyeliner thing was clear. If not, I could do another video and make it better. But anyway. So I can see. Oh, another tip is that I use the white inside my eye. Like, I put white there sometimes to make my eye look big, too. That's another tip. And you kind of, like, blend it out a little. So now I look like a mess. And this thing makes my eyebrows look darker than they should be and everything. But, again, my face is lighter than this stupid camera wants to show. So, I hope this video was clear. And I know it wasn't the best video. And there were other makeup videos that you probably turn to for makeup help. But that's the makeup I use what makeup I like to do and the techniques I use. So, have a good day.